So in the previous lecture, we understood the functioning of triple five timer IC as a monostable multivibrator. And this was my entire circuitry. So the circuit changed the state only when the trigger input was applied. What we are going to do is we are going to now understand triple five timer IC as a stable multivibrator. Now, a stable in which both the states are not stable so it will be remaining for it will remain in for some period of time at the low state and then it will go and transit to a high state but there also it will not be stable and after some moment of time it will again come back to the low state so low high low high low high this game will continue so in this particular circuit, this is the internal circuitry of triple five timer IC and I do a small modification. I know one thing that the trigger input plays a game at the voltage less than one by three VCC. And the threshold comes into picture when the voltage is more than two by three VCC. Can I do one thing? This two by three VCC appears across the capacitor. Can I do one thing? Instead of applying a trigger input, I connect this trigger also across the capacitor. So when the capacitor discharges to less than 1 by 3 VCC, my trigger will become active. And when the trigger will become active, flip-flop will be reset, my output will be high and Q will be low, so the capacitor will start charging. As it becomes 2 by 3rd VCC, my threshold will become active, and then my set will become high, Q will become low, Q bar will become high, I'm sorry, when my threshold will become high to 2 by 3 VCC, my set will become high, Q will become high, capacitor will discharge, again it will discharge to a value lesser than 1 by 3 VCC, which will go to trigger. So what we do is, to make things simple, let's understand. This is, I was explaining to uh, explain you what modification we will do in this circuit. So the circuit will behave like an unstable multivibrator. So what we do is, we first draw the internal block diagram of the triple five timer IC. One mistake which we did is, in the internal circuit between Q and the transistor, base of the transistor, there is a small resistance to regulate the output current. So triple five timer IC, 5K resistance, another 5K resistance, another 5K resistance, 5K, 5K, 5k. This voltage goes to the non-inverting terminal of the lower comparator and the inverting terminal goes to a pin called as trigger pin. This is that is the pin number 2. This voltage after the second 5k, which is 2 by 3rd VCC, goes to upper comparator inverting terminal and the non inverting terminal goes to an external pin that is pin number 6 called as threshold. The output of both the comparator is given to an SR flip-flop Q, Q bar, Q bar is my actual output and Q through a resistance goes to a discharge transistor, base of a discharge transistor and this is ground and this is my discharge pin, pin number 7. So this is 
the basic block diagram of the triple five IC, trimer IC and I'm going to connect some external pins, external resistances to understand how we play the game of a stable multi vibrator. Now the first thing what we do is, since this is VCC, I connect a resistance and let's say this resistance B, there are two resistances which will be involved, I say this resistance is RA. In monostable multivibrator, we connected a capacitor in parallel with the transistor. But in a stable, what I will do is, I will connect a capacitor parallel, but this will be through a resistance. And I will call this resistance as RB. And this is connected to the VCC and the VCC is pin number 8. Pin number 2, pin number 6, pin number 8. This is my discharge pin that is the pin number 7. After this, the output of the capacitor which in monostable directly went to the threshold pin what I will do is I will short the threshold and the trigger pin and this will be fed to the capacitor that is the voltage across the capacitor will come across the trigger pin as well as the threshold pin in a stable multi vibrator I need not apply any kind of a trigger input when I turn the circuit on it will remain in the low state for some time then it will go to high state then again it will go to low state then again it will go for a high state and this is the reason why it is called as a stable multi vibrator so let's understand with the help of a graph how the output is going to change the state Let's say initially Q is low and Q bar is high or let's say Q bar is low and Q is high. So this becomes my voltage across the capacitor C and this becomes my output that is at Q bar voltage at the output Q bar now when Q is low and Q bar is high or let's say when my output is low let's assume initially output is low so when output is low Q will be high when Q will be high the transistor will be on so this capacitor will start discharging through resistance RB to ground and the voltage will start falling across the capacitor as the voltage across the capacitor falls to a voltage less than 1 by 3 VCC this 1 by 3rd VCC will appear across the trigger as well as the threshold pin now moment the voltage at the trigger pin is less than 1 by 3 VCC the non inverting voltage of the lower comparator becomes dominant so the voltage at the positive terminal becomes more and the voltage at the negative terminal becomes less so the op amp is going to produce a high output the moment it produces a high output circuit the flip flop will become a reset if the flip flop is reset q will become low and q bar will become high now when this happens when the capacitor discharge to 1 by 3 VCC so this is the point when it reaches to 1 by 3 VCC 
So the moment it reaches to 1 by 3 Pcc, that voltage at the trigger input comes into picture, it becomes less. This comparator becomes dominant. 1 by 3 Vcc, the voltage at the non-inverting becomes more. It produces a high output. The flip-flop is a reset. Q becomes low. Q bar becomes high. Output goes to high. Now, for how long it will be high? That is the question. So, this becomes 1 by 3 Vcc. Now, the moment it becomes 1 by 3 Vcc, Q bar becomes high. Q becomes low. If Q becomes low, this transistor is shut down. So, when the transistor is shut down, now there are capacitor only has two paths to discharge, one through RB and one to the other path which goes into the op-amp, but op-amp has a very high impedance, so that path is ruled out. So now my capacitor will start charging through RA and RB. So it will continue to charge through RA and RB. Now, the maximum voltage it can charge is VCC, but wait, the moment it reaches to a voltage 2 by 3 VCC, this 2 by 3 VCC will reach to trigger and will reach to threshold. The moment the, the voltage across the capacitor reaches to 2 by 3 VCC, the voltage at the non-inverting terminal of the upper comparator will become more than the inverting terminal. So voltage at the positive terminal is high and the voltage at the negative terminal is less. So the upper comparator will produce a high output and the lower comparator since the negative terminal has more voltage 2 by 3 VCC it is lower so set will be high, reset will be less low. If it is set which is high Q will be high and Q bar will be low. So when this Q bar will be low, when it reaches to 2 by 3 VCC. So the moment the capacitor reaches to 2 by 3 VCC, output will become low. And once output becomes low, Q becomes high, transistor turns on, the capacitor starts char discharging through the resistance RB and it, if it discharges through resistance RB, the moment again it reaches to 1 by 3 VCC, less than 1 by 3 VCC, the trigger pin becomes active just as the earlier case. So it becomes lesser than 1 by 3 VCC. Now the voltage at the negative terminal will become less and the positive will become more of the lower comparator. This will produce a high output. Reset will become high. Set will become low. So reset is high, output again will be high, the Q will become low so the upper transistor will be turned off and the capacitor will again start charging and it will continue once it reaches to 2 by 3 VCC, once it reaches to 2 by 3 VCC threshold pin becomes high. 2 by 3 VCC, the voltage at the non-inverting terminal becomes more than the voltage at the inverting terminal. So the upper comparator now produces a high output, set becomes high, Q becomes high, transistor again starts discharging. And when the transistor starts discharging, the Q becomes high, Q bar becomes low. So the moment it reaches to 2 by 3 VCC, my output becomes low. Again, when it will be reached to 1 by 3 VCC, again my output will turn high and the, this will continue. So, the, because this continues, it is called as a stable multivibrator. The entire game is played between 1 by 3 VCC and 2 by 3 VCC. Mind you, the charging time is more because the capacitor charges through RA as well as RB and the discharging time is less because it discharges only through RB and therefore, it is called as a stable multivibrator that is without even applying any trigger input, external input, by connecting, by shorting the threshold and the trigger and taking the voltage across the capacitor. What we find is as it reaches to 2 by 3rd VCC, output becomes low. As it becomes 1 by 3rd VCC, output becomes high and high, low, high, low, the state continues. Neither it can remain in the high state for indefinite period of time neither it can remain in low state for indefinite period of time, therefore this is called as a